All right, it's preparing. So this is that awkward part in the middle where we <laughs> wait. It's funny because I always think it doesn't do it until it's like fully there, but it's actually like showing this part in between. Okay, so I think we are live in Next Level Female CEOs. I am so excited to be here right now. Um, and joining me right now is Abby Motsky, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. She is our client spotlight for today, um, and we're going to go into some incredible details. But Abby, I'm going to throw it over to you and let you start sharing and telling everyone who you are and what you're all about. Sure. Well, thanks for having me. First off, I'm Abby oh. Motsky, PhD in natural medicine, transformative emotion healer, and I help six-figure earning women, multi-six-figure women, get to break through their inner blocks to seven figures. And it's been quite the ride. It's so much fun. I love it. I'm so excited. And Abby and I um, worked together in two, she's been in two of my programs. Um, I feel like I've known you for years and I'm just really excited for you to share your story because if you don't know Abby, then you need to, because Abby's incredible. And I always tell her all the time, she's amazing and she's so gifted at what she does. Um, but I also want to share with you a little bit about her journey, because I feel like a lot of times this isn't what's talked about. So Abby, if you can first share with us what problems you were running into before you found me. Um, it was suddenly all on me to make the income for the household. And that was a lot of pressure. And my business before that had been set up to just basically hold the line until the kids got older. And it like, it was not prepared to really do the full job. So when I came to you, I was a bit, dude, it was frantic. It was like this inner, like, oh my gosh, like I need help. I don't know who's going to help me. I don't know if they can help me. I had, it seemed like a few other things I had tried hadn't worked. Um, but Nas was super helpful in like quenching all those fears ahead of time and like being very on the level of what can actually happen, what's expected, what needs to happen and be in place. And it was, it was so comforting. <laughs> I'm like, okay, like I can trust this person. I know that she can get the job done. Um, so, you know, really that state of I've got fast and now, and I need the shortcut and I need, I don't want somebody wasting my time. I don't want somebody, it, basically, I don't have time to waste. I need the income. It's been six months and we're scraping by. And then was it during the, I think the program, the, the first program somewhere midstream or two thirds of the way through we changed gears completely because the shutdown had happened and trashed my cement business. And <laughs> oh my God, it was a bad scene. Oh, it was a bad so scene. Messy. So messy, but it yeah. happened. I didn't even look at my books for like four months until after, like once the shutdown happened, when I finally looked at my books, one of those months, it was like without taking a dime home, $55 because everybody canceled. Everybody was afraid to come out. Everybody, and I'm supposed to like be feeding four kids on this. And paying a mortgage and also yeah that it was, was like pedal to the metal <laughs> oh my god and there's nothing and i feel like sometimes we don't talk about this but there's oftentimes this trigger right there's this thing that happens that kind of awakens it in us and sometimes it happens naturally and sometimes it's pushed on us and in your case it was pushed on you that push came to shove and you had to figure things out and so um what I love about Abby is that she was incredible at what she does. Like she, and this is, I tell people all the time, I only work with people who are amazing at what they do. I work with the people who have a gift and they know that, and it's just the struggle and sharing it. Right. And so when we first started working together, one of the shifts we made was obviously going from brick and mortar, having an actual store into going online, but you had already moved some of it online. But I also like to share the story that, you know, you started out selling super low ticket, if you really think about it. So share with us a little bit about what you were doing in that low ticket world. And then we'll talk about where you went. <laughs> it was super, super low um, for what I was doing. And when I, when I look around at what other people that, you know, my competition, when I look and see what they were doing, it was amazing the things that I knew I could do basically to outgun them. And I wasn't sure how to get people to believe me. How do you, uh, like, how do you say like, look, I, I know this, like, I've got this answer. I've got, you know, how do you get that out there? And um, so I was actually, I don't even know if I told you this when I started, I was charging $80 a session oh. and it was like an hour and a half. It, 
Makes I was my dying. Call. You know how I feel about it. <laughs> I know I was dying and I, but I, I had no clue what to do because everyone around me in this area, like your market can't handle more. They don't want to pay more. They're not, you can only charge what the market wow. can handle. And then working with you, you're like, well, it's the wrong market. <laughs> right? I'm kidding. But, of course but it's the wrong like, market. But that's like such a, it seems like a simple shift, right? When we're outside of it, it feels like a simple shift. Like, of course I'm in the wrong market. Of course I'm targeting the wrong people. But when you're in it, you're like, I just want to help people, right? And I think that's the big thing I tell people is like, it's okay that we come into this wanting to serve, wanting to impact, wanting to change lives. And that's what you did. You were like, I don't care. It, you wanted the money. Obviously money matters. It matters the revenue you make. But at the same time, you were so focused in on serving and supporting people. But mm -hmm. what we don't realize, and this comes up a lot when we talk about low ticket and high ticket is we think that we're doing people a better service by offering them something cheaper. We feel like now I can support more people. Mm -hmm. That's wrong, right? We're mm -hmm. so wrong in that. Yeah, I'm helping more people now for sure. You're helping more people now and in such a bigger way yeah. than ever possible before. So she was charging hourly and then tell us the rest of how all that fun stuff banned out. Okay. Like, so when I was working with you, I think I had, I had gone up to 110 was my, like my first appointment was a different rate, but then my revisits were all 110 and that was still running hour, hour and a half, depending on what, you know, if I had the time, I'd go ahead and give it because that giving heart and it like, when people tell you, all you have to do is have a passion and a heart for it. It's like, and you're going to die in a box, you know, <laughs> I, not necessarily, but that's what was happening. Like, I, I can't make any traction. I'm going like, I'm going day to day guys, but I uh, care so much more than they care for themselves, honestly. And it's still sometimes that way, not as much. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, guys, I can see where this can go, yeah. but you can't. So that's what you did for me. Um, so I went from that 110. I did um, some of my packages go up to five times that pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, and then the add-ons are still incredible. Like nobody complains at that price. It's, it is such a relief. It's such a relief from people like acting like I was killing them at the $80 range after I'd poured my heart and my talents out. And like, I'm literally PhD research. This is what works and all the experience and the different things I've pulled and make sure because the type of person I am is I want all those little answers. I want it. I want it the best it can be. I'm not going to compromise that. And then they'd be like, $80 is too much. I'm like, like you're paying 80 for your hair to get colored at the cheap place, you know, and I'm changing your life, but whatever. You can't tell people that when they don't understand the value coming into it. So then you think, kicked my yeah, butt. That, that's a key. I want to pause you real quick because that's a key thing, right? We cannot talk people into our value if they do not see it. And so I think a lot of people go through this struggle because they try to talk people into their value thinking, if I just tell them enough times, hit them with enough accolades, hit them up enough with um, the authority that I have, they'll buy in eventually. And what we don't realize is that's a losing game. And, and just like you said, you came to me a little broken, like feeling like you have all this talent and all of this ability, nobody sees it. And it's like being this best kept secret and people spend years being a best kept secret and being this person who's like, you know, you're cut above the rest. So sorry, I just want to jump in and say that because I know so many people who are going to be watching this are going to be thinking and feeling that same thing. Right. Well, you say a little broken and looking back, I'm like, dude, I was a lot broken. When I see the difference now, I'm like, I took three weeks off in July, almost a full three weeks. I like just took off with the kids and we played at a lake in, I, it, it, that was not going to happen last year or the year before or the year before. Um, it, it just the, the ability to disconnect from it and not worry about it. And even this year, I feel like I've super slacked on the marketing. I'm like, I'm supposed to yeah. be doing this. But when the message is ratcheted down, like you teach, yeah, like I can throw it out there once in a while and I've got, you know, it doesn't, it really doesn't take much. I don't have to be pouring into it the way Facebook groups, at least what I'm observing, they don't need to run quite like they used to a year ago. So nope. it's just one more venue. And anyway, it's come together so much more easily. I actually sleep in in the mornings instead of getting up and like jetting out of bed, like skipping the coffee, just trying to get everything done. Um, it's, it's been a huge, it's been a huge thing. And like, I'm a big fan of yours and I'll take you all over the place because without you saying, what the heck are you doing? Like you're, and just one day when you were like, I think this is what you should be doing. Go think about that. And it was just mind blowing. Like, is that 
possible, like just like it had never been possible because nobody had painted that picture for me. So he painted the picture and gave me some tools. And then I just kept repeating that. And by October, I think that course was done in May. Yeah. Might've been June. Anyway, I did work, you know, I mean, I was still growing into it. It takes some time to like, at least for some of us where we're like, we really have to digest it and learn how it works and, and have some experience in it by October. I closed multiple high ticket sales. Um, some of the courses I had built from before sold. I, and then I had a little bit of my old business building back up, but not much like that was, that just covers its own overhead at that point. Yeah. I, made, I think I made over 12,000 that month. I would have to go back and check my books, but, but imagine that was that. literally half of what I took home the year before. Okay. So did you guys hear that? That was half of what she took home the year before. And I, the reason I say this is it's not that I made her more talented. Abby was um, amazing. Like I t- kid you not, this woman is like someone you want in your circle that you need to know, like change your lifestyle. The difference was changing the perspective of being able to see herself as that big deal, which I love that you brought that up because so many people who are in Sustainable Profit Academy or working with me even one-on-one go through the same thing of like, they have to buy into it, right? They have to buy into their own, their own, like who they are. And I joke because I'm like, that's probably the hardest part is buying into yourself at this new level and seeing yourself in this new light that allows you to do that. But Abby was over here charging hundreds of dollars, maybe a hundred to $150 an hour yeah. to creating a high ticket package at over $5,000. Yep, it's 5,500 to 6,000. And tell me though, Are people bugging you about like, it's too expensive? No. Are people coming to you and saying they're ready? Yes, honestly. And you're like, how many sales calls are you doing? And I'm like, is it bad to say none this month? I I love none. And you know, and you, you're like, this isn't, how do you sell via messenger? I'm like, well, I don't really have to. They come to me and they're like, I just know I get a late night text. Like, oh my gosh, I've been thinking about you because I know you can help me. And I'm like, you let on nothing online. Like I, you're out of the stalkers. I just, and that's what I tell people. I was like, you Hmm. can go from cold lead to stalker in record time and never having known it when your message is on point, when your positioning is on point, when you have a method that no one's seen before, but you can explain it because that was the whole thing. I remember vividly having our first conversation on a sales call years ago where I did not understand what you did. And I was like, <laughs> I was the crazy oh, lady. This sounds okay. <laughs> Tell her to this day. I remember being on that call and being like, this sounds crazy and lunatic and, and like all this stuff. Right. I know it but still then- does. If I don't say it right. <laughs> because she's amazing. And just, I say this because I know she's amazing and I know what she does now having literally experienced it myself. So, but I remember her telling me this and literally like rolling my eyes at her, like this sounds a little insane. And then to now where she can share her message, she can share what she does in a way that communicates her value and other people get it. Like that's where that, that shift happens is you know, you're amazing at what you do, but getting other people to see and buy into that is a whole other ball game that we're not told when we're starting our business. We're just told be good at what you do. It'll be awesome. It'll be amazing. And what I love that you said is like, it's not about creating tons of content and like establishing your authority. It's when we create this proprietary method, when we create this messaging around what you do, it doesn't require us to do all this heavy lifting and all this work. It does the heavy lifting for us. So people show up and they're like, I want it. Just give it to me. I'm already pre-sold. I know that this is what I need. I'm tired of waiting for it. So huge shift. I think we more than five X your pricing and, and more importantly, increasing your pricing is great, but if you can't get clients coming to you, it's a waste of our time. So tell me, what do you feel like in all of this was the biggest game changer for you and your business? I got to pause because I'm like, this might be where it gets a little emotional. Nas, it was you. You believed in me when other people didn't. <laughs> You're going to get me teary We're not going to do the teary eye. We might as well do that together if we're going <laughs> to <laughs> quick wave it away. Um, I have like locally at that time, I had people come to me that, like literally, I know one woman didn't even really like me. And she's like, I ran into some of your clients and your people are raving fans. And I'm like, I know. I know the people that work with me get it, but it's everyone else thinks I'm a kook. 
Uh, yeah. because I didn't know how to express it. So you just saying, well, look, first we need to change the audience. We need to restructure this. You need to learn how to say it. And that was really hard because I didn't want to sound like everybody else out there either, but you really helped me pull that through. So I'm going to say that it was you, if I were to boil it down to one thing, if I had to take you and that not be an answer, um, through that whole process, it was, um, it was the messaging and how to get it out there. Game changer. Because once I heard the message too, I'm like, oh, this is what I do. And I kind of got a laugh because I literally had to make a file. And because I do so many things, you know, the, yeah. that person who like, you ask him in high school, what are you going to do? Like, I don't know. I do everything. Um, I had to make a file. And when somebody's like, and who do you help? And I'm like, I got to go look because I can help everybody, but who do I need to be helping? So it is, I mean, it sounds dumb, but I'm like, this no. is how I had to train myself. I had to hammer my own message into me. And I'm like, well, yeah, I help the people who are trying to achieve big things actually break through and do those things because they need somebody to believe in them. And they need all this internal junk moved out too, which you know is incredibly hard to do on yourself. So if you can find someone that can do it like that, oh, you know, like, oh my gosh, that's and that the gold. Was- that was the power, right? Is like at what Abby does, by the way, is not like business coaching. It's not like the same thing, everyone else. And so explaining the ROI and explaining how it works and the mechanism, how it happens is not easy, right? It's not a simple task. She removes subconscious blocks, which sounds simple, but it's, it's crazy what she does, like crazy in the best way possible. And what I, I, why I say that is the worst feeling as a business owner is to have a gift and to know you have a gift and to not know how to share it and to feel like you're sitting here begging for people to pay attention and begging people to give you this chance because you know that if they gave you the chance they would know and see what you're capable of doing and so when abby says this like it literally hits me in the heart because i remember sitting there on boxers and talking and being like stop playing small, Abby. We're not doing this anymore. We're not selling small, right. low ticket. She was doing memberships and this and that. And I was like, we're done with this. We are going to step into the role of like, you are here to change lives. And I will stop at nothing to ensure that you do that. And I feel like that's hard. Like it's hard for me to do for myself and it's hard for us to do for ourselves. But when we can see it and when we can believe it ourselves, the rest is so freaking easy. It becomes like, cool. Now I have the message that attaches to that and makes me be able to like say with words what I'm capable of doing. So I love that because that's just the gift of Abby and how amazing she is. So tell me, um, if you will, if someone was considering working with me, they're sitting on the sidelines, they're wondering, tell me what you would say to them. Just get off your butt and do it. I mean, (laughs) whatever it was that finally tipped me. And I'm like, I need somebody and she's the person. If you have any thought that she might be the person, just do it because you're not, you're, you have to do something to keep growing. You have to take some sort of step. And if it's, you don't like, if you don't have a magic key to make it happen, then just, I mean, really it's not about the money. If you, if you know what you're supposed to be doing, know who you're supposed to be talking to, you know how to get it out there. All that, the ROI is going to come back on you a hundred fold pretty shortly. Yeah. Um, and so that, you know, these, if people are being held up by money, that's not the deal. It's just an energy exchange. It's like NASA's pouring forth her help for you. Give her that token back. It's not a big deal. I mean, it seems like a big deal, especially where I was. I mean, you heard where I was like, that was like a, how am I going to do this? But I have to do this because I either, I either have to take this pain and get over that, or I have to stay in that pain and I'm not willing to settle. So it was cough it up. Let's get this done. And I mean, you're still, I still think you undercharge for what you're doing. So if you want me to throw that back on you, um, you were worth way more. Of course you're going to. I should. And and if Abby doesn't mind, she used to hate when I would tell this, but Abby actually didn't work with me first. So we, she, I don't hate when you tell that because I don't want them to screw up too. But we joke because that first sales call where I was telling you, and it was on both ends. Um, she actually ended up working with someone else that wasn't me, um, who was actually more expensive than me. And when I went back to her, just so you guys know, I was so magnetized by Abby and knowing that we were meant to work together. So I went back to her and actually asked her why she didn't work with me. Um, and she had told me that that other person just felt more confident. They knew how to portray what they were saying. And let's just say months went by, Abby came back and said, okay, I'm trying to do this. 
But I share that because I think it's important for people to know, like, I can't tell you how many people come to me and say, I've worked with a business coach or I've worked with so-and-so this didn't work for me. And I'm always like, trust me. And it's not just trust me. It's like, we have a way of being able to do this. That really brings out your magic. Number one, brings out this next level version of yourself that you have not seen before. You didn't identify before. You didn't even know existed before. Then we put it into words with your, this incredible methodology of your own and the message that speaks that and gets it where now people can see and hear and understand what you do in a clear way. And then we just make that repeatable over and over and over again, where you're no longer working your butt off. But I share that story because I get it. I understand that there's a lot happening and maybe you've worked with someone before, or maybe you're just sitting on the fence saying, I don't know if this is actually going to work for me. And so I say that because I understand, I get it hundred percent. And with that being said, if you are someone who's sitting on the sidelines and you're watching this and you're saying, okay, I at least want to give this a shot and see what it's all about, drop a call in the comments and let's chat because the worst thing that can happen is we hop on a call and we see it's a good or it's not a right fit. I promise you, I will always let you know if I feel like you're a right fit to work together. But I'm going to let Abby sign off by telling us right now, where can we learn more about you and your incredibleness and where can people find out uh, what it is that you do in more detail? Well, you're always welcome to find me on Facebook. And then I've got this cool little thing that I want everyone to try. <laughs> Love it. Cause it's, I've only had it like two months, but it's, it's so sweet. If you text to the number 411321, the word beyond mindset as one word will totally get connected that way. Okay. So 411321. Okay. And, and it's one text. word beyond mindset because that's where I work All right. and they'll ask you for an email and you'll get a really cool freebie that helps you figure out what section of biggest blocks you need to work on first. All right, I put that into the chat for you guys to check out, but thank you, Abby. I so appreciate you being here and sharing your time and sharing your story about the shift that you've gone through and everything that's happened. Um, I so appreciate you being here. And for all of you that are watching, um, again, I understand completely and being in Abby's position and so many of my clients that I've worked with over the last 10 years have been in your shoes. And just, I wanna say to you, it's not worth spending all this time trying to get people to see and hear who you are. Let us create the message and the method that allows you to do that in a way that doesn't feel like you're pulling teeth and trying to force people into um, seeing the, the abilities that you have and the gifts that you have. So thank you all for being here. And thank you, Abby, again, for sharing your time with us. You're welcome. That's the least I could do in return. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>